Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to give a brief channel intro uh, to this video uh, because I think it frames what I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I've only been doing astrophotography for a couple of years and it wasn't something that I ever intended to get into when I started. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to read astronomy magazines and in those pages, there were countless ads for Celestrons and Meads, and I'd always wanted a nice telescope, a six or an eight inch, something that I could explore the sky. And when I got the opportunity, right about the time of COVID, I picked up a six inch Celestron 6SE. And it was great. Uh, but I found out pretty quickly that there's not really that much you can see from a suburban backyard with a six inch scope. So uh, my scope sat rather unused for about a year before it dawned on me that I could try to connect my Nikon to my telescope. And well, like my channel trailer says, I was pretty much hooked right away. And what started was a two year long road of uh, augmenting and adding to my rig and uh, taking on bigger and uh, more exciting challenges. Now, one of the things that I did when I first got my scope and when I first connected my camera is I scoured YouTube looking for uh, advice on channels on how do you do astrophotography with a six inch Celestron. Um, what kind of camera should you use? What type of uh, results should you expect? Under what conditions? And there were a couple of channels out there that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, one that comes to mind was um, Celestial Imaging, I believe it was called. Uh, obviously, all the standard channels everyone watches because they have great content. Uh, they were fantastic, but I was really looking for those that, that dealt with setups and scopes similar to mine. And specifically, I was looking for scopes that were mounted with uh, Altezi mounts using wedges, because that is what I intended to use. Uh, it took me 40-something years to get my first real scope, and uh, it wasn't likely that I was going to be able to trade it in for something else anytime soon. So I guess in a way, I was looking for content for people like me who started with visual astronomy and quickly gravitated over to astrophotography and were looking for some advice, um, some how-tos, seeing how other people had done this before, uh, and just overall interested in, in what other people were doing with these types of setups. So uh, here we are two years later. Um, in my first year of astrophotography, I went from using just the Altezi mount uh, to making my own wedge, not really understanding how to use one, uh, to using that wedge a little bit better and then finally upgrading it to a Celestron wedge uh, and then going full in with uh, auto guiding and, uh, and a cooled camera. So I guess I've gone quite a long way from that initial amateur setup but I'm still using my original scope. And I imagine that's probably true for a lot of people out there. Uh, you know, these are not, ex not, uh, not expensive. These are not cheap devices. And, uh, you know, it might be nice to think that you, tr you could trade it in for something big bigger and better, but uh, for a lot of us, that's just not in the cards. Besides, uh, I've kind of grown to like uh, my Alt-AC on a wedge setup. It does have some benefits, albeit, uh, you know, this, this isn't the ideal astrophotography setup for, for some, if not most. So anyway, here we are. Uh, long story short, uh, I'm approaching two years of astrophotography. It'll be two years in September that I first connected my Nikon. Uh, and this winter, since I got my cooled camera, I... Uh, was really able to dive a little bit further in and take some better pictures uh, and process them better. I've learned a lot in processing as well. Um, so I've been able to, to get some better output, uh, largely of galaxy season. Uh, I missed the first part of winter just due to weather. 
So uh, Galaxy Citizen is all but over. I've posted a, a quick video summarizing my results. And now I'm moving on to Nebulas. And um, therein lies the crux of the problem. Nebulas have been notoriously hard for me. Uh, with the Nikon, they were all but impossible. I was using a, I was using a high contrast and filter. Uh, that was the only way that I could shoot them. I had to screw the filter onto uh, my T adapter. Uh, and I mean, I was getting some results, but honestly, from my backyard, they were not great. Um, I was able to do the Orion Nebula and some pretty unimpressive pictures of the Swan Nebula and the uh, Trifid. But beyond that, uh, I didn't get a lot of luck until I would take my, my setup camping and uh, to darker skies. So um, that said, we're getting back into nebula season. And uh, to kick off nebula season, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm, I'm, I'm currently trying to photograph the witch's broom. That one has been notoriously difficult for me from my backyard. So my approach is to uh, take it slow with this one, to uh, try to photograph at least 10 hours worth of uh, data. So capture a lot of signal data before I try stacking. While I'm doing that, uh, I had the opportunity last weekend to go camping. My mom and dad are out camping at uh, Pinery Provincial Park, which is a uh, great provincial park in Southern Ontario, Canada. And uh, for Father's Day this year, I was able to take my wife and kids and uh, go visit them for a night. So uh, I brought my rig, I set it up. Uh, it was a great experience. It was the first time that I was able to bring up my entire assembled scope with guiding, with the cooled camera, with the wedge, uh, and pretty confident that I'd be able to finally get proper polar alignment, which I'd been struggling with last summer. And uh, I think it all worked out. Um, I didn't get a lot of time to, to uh, photograph uh, much of anything, but um, I did end up spending one hour on M56, which I had not captured before. So there's a, another uh, Messier object that I can add to my list. And I was also able to gather a couple of hours on the Crescent Nebula. The Crescent Nebula was one of those uh, bane of my existence type of nebulas that I'd been trying to capture since I started uh, in earnest taking photographs of the sky. So going back to last April and then through last summer, early in the summer, and then later in the summer, I was able to uh, capture some signal on this uh, nebula, but I was still using my Nikon. And uh, even from darker skies, uh, I wasn't able to, to get too much. So uh, again, not too much signal time this year either, uh, this past weekend. Uh, but uh, this photograph that I processed for this video uh, kind of shows the difference between what my Nikon could do with a similar setup, um, well, with a similar scope, uh, versus what a cooled camera with auto guiding and three minute exposures could do over a relatively short time. So uh, thank you for watching, clear skies, and uh, enjoy.